All right, so um, you know what? Let's just get right into it. Um, We're on to what, the net what zero. The company name is Net Zero Energy Homes. No. Net Zero what? No. Net My zero. company is R and R Planning and Design. R and R Planning and Design. That's okay. the parent company. All right. And so can I keep this. Yes. All right. And then um, so R and R Planning and Design does what? Resort well, and residential planning and design. Yes. And what does that mean? Let me stop <laughs> asking dumb questions. <laughs> I have to ask dumb questions because not everyone knows what it's about. I advertised it all week that we just do luxury single family residential and resort design. The reason why we went with the name resort was because if you look at the back of the card, we do market extensively in China. That's where our focus was. Okay, and I see East West De Design Alliance. The East, that West, the East West Design Alliance is a is basically a a market a group for the purpose of marketing. Pat Traff's outside productions, a landscape okay. architect, and Beasley and Henley Interior Design. Okay. From um, Winter Park, Florida, and uh, here let me let me go there. Uh, created this group for the purpose of marketing in China uh, because once we produce a book we're somebody to the Chinese Okay. and the market you know is so depressed here I don't need to tell you that nope you do not need to tell me that, <laughs> that see it every day it made a lot more sense since I was you know no one knew me as a designer here they knew me as an illustrator working for Dan Sater yeah so have you seen any of this? Mm -mm. yeah we created this whole thing it's, it's not okay. an illusion it's Pat and I usually go to China. I'm talking to him again today about going in March, but um, this was the latest. There, there's one of those things I say did for them. But, um, you know, I didn't market here domestically just because nobody knew who I was, like I said. Yeah. Because they worked for Sager. But um, now, with the developer tapping me on the shoulder to do this work up in Gainesville, um, have a seat. Uh, Sit in the furry chair. Yeah, a year ago, a year ago, I sent this builder developer a prototype plan. Did okay. I tell you the story? Uh, I don't know. Tell me again. I, I sent him a prototype plan. I, I had an idea how I could improve his plan offering. He had a 15 plans or so that I thought were no great shakes, and he was complaining about the market and being down in sales. And I thought, well, he needs more open great room plans. So mm -hmm. I did one for him. He made a comment when I talked to him that where I came from, Seder, mm -hmm. that he, he said to me, that the builder did, Tommy Williams, whose builder told me he thought that uh, that Dan Seder's plans didn't knock his socks off. That's th those were the term that was the term he used. So I, I designed a plan for him bought a brand new pair of socks <laughs> and sent them to him. <laughs> I didn't hear from him for 10 months. Wow. 10 months. I get, I get a... You're not on right now. Yeah, yeah. I get an email from him saying, sorry it took me so long. I really, I really liked that plan. It did knock my socks off. Since I saw you last, our market got so bad. I hired a new marketing guy who was also a realtor. And uh, he didn't like anything I was selling. So oh. he said, do you have anything else? He said, well, this guy sent me these plans here earlier in the year and showed them to me. And um, Todd Lewis is this marketing guy's name. Looked at him and said, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to be selling. All right. So Tommy said, so here I am. I'm coming to you apologizing. It took me so long. The only thing that changed now is we're doing these houses in the community where we, you left me at. We didn't do the new development. Okay, so, same land, different yeah, project, so, basically. He said, so I have to, I basically have to live with the rules from this community, and now we're doing something called a net zero energy home program. Have you ever heard about that? And I said, no. And he said, well, we're working with the Florida Solar Energy Center from University of Central Florida. 
-hmm. And uh, there's a Dr. Subrato Chandra that's the director of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few other groups, Florida Hero, a guy named Ken Fonero, who's an efficiency, construction efficiency expert, mm -hmm. and some people from the U.S. Department of Energy Building America program. And what is their goal, basically? What are they trying to do? Well, when I first heard net zero energy home, I thought, Internet access. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because well, does. yeah, because that's a lot net of zero. Say that. I mean, come on. But but now that I know what it's about, it makes sense. It's it's not that we're building homes that don't use electricity. Mm -hmm. It's that it's a net zero cost to the buyer. We have the technology now so in that design you don't pay for electricity, basically. Well, this, this is how it works uh, through new technology in design and products and construction techniques, uh, the builder, this builder, has the ability to basically um, um, choose how this house will be built to get his cost to zero because these houses with the use of solar mm -hmm. produce as much electricity as they use. Okay. Which is really astounding if you think about it. There's, you have leads out there and you have NAHB Green and a variety of programs that say your house is green. Mm -hmm. But the real true measure is your HERS rating index or Home Energy Rating Index. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Which is basically the overall usage of your entire yeah, home. It, it essentially is a unit of measure that anybody can do. In mm -hmm. other words, any home builder could actually use it. And that's the true rating of how energy efficient. Okay. And, uh, well, to give you an example, in 2008, in order to get a HERS rating, uh, an Energy Star rating from the U.S. government, your home had to have a HERS rating in 2008 of 100. Okay. In 2009, they lowered it to 85. Okay. A very efficient home, maybe 40 to 50. Okay. The first model that we're doing in Alachua County in a development called Longleaf will have a HERS rating of zero. That's awesome. That's awesome. So mm -hmm. let me just tell you that the builder could actually go less than zero if he wanted to, which means the homeowner would make money off his home. Right? He would produce more electricity, him which or her, would produce more electricity than they use, except um, it there are many power companies that will actually pay you yeah. past zero. Yeah, this company, that. this electric company will not. 